uh, welcome you all to the session on uh, transmission and distribution module 4 in continuation with the previous topics which we discussed and the discussed topics were about the potential gradient about the capacitance of the single core cable and uh, we also discussed about uh, the core diameter which is going to be the uh, core diameter which is going to give the best of the performance for the core diameter we also understood that it should be 72.718 times the sheet diameter d when uh, to give the more economical size of the conductor and when we understood that the distribution of the stress electrical stress is not going to be uniform all over the surface of the cable we found the requirement of grading of the cables since the electrostatic uh, distribution on uh, insulating material is not uniform, the uni insulating material is not properly utilized. No matter whatever be the capacity of the cable, the cable cannot become functional unless otherwise the uniform distribution of the stress is achieved. So by grading, the utilization of the insulating material will be improved and at the same time, grading is nothing but the process of achieving the uniform distribution of the stress. and uh, or all over electrical stress all over the conductor surface we understood that the stress in the is the insulation in the insulation is going to be maximum at the conductor surface and minimum at the sheath so to avoid the breakdown of the insulation it is always necessary to have the uniform distribution of stress all over the insulation that is all along the insulation uh, there are some methods uh, used to obtain the uniform stress distribution the process of obtaining the uniform stress distribution all over the insulation of the cable is called as grading of the cables and during the grading of the cables we also understood that uh, the stress in the dielectric uh, stress is the dielectric of the cable and we all know that the dielectric is nothing but electrical insulation which will actually do not conduct but it will definitely give rise to the polarization when it is kept in the electric field so by grading the cable of the same size will be operated at the higher voltages or the other achievement could be for the same operating voltage the cable is relatively going to be the small size and we can design the small size of the cable which is going to be cost effective and it is going to it, it can be operated at the higher voltages also so uh, there are some uh, the effects of the unequal distribution of the stress uh, are one is that the greater insulation thickness it is required so the cost will be too high and then it increases the cost and as well as the size so increase in the size definitely increases the diameter of the cable which is ultimately going to give uh, rise to the rise in the cost as well as in the losses it may lead to the breakdown of the insulation also to overcome all these effects we need to grade the cables so there are two methods of grading the cables uh, through which we can achieve the distribution of the stress in the cable by distributing more stress on the outer layers of the dielectric we can grade the cable and to achieve this we have a process called grading of the cables so ultimately grading of the cables is to be done in order to give the uniform stress distribution all over the cable and to make the best use of the insulation material of the cable so the two methods which are popularly known as uh, for the grading of the cables are known as capacitance grading and intersheet grading. Intersheet itself says that there are sheets that are sheets of insulation which are kept between the outer surface of the conductor and the conductor core material. So by introducing the number of the sheets in between it is possible to achieve the uniform stress distribution all over the cable. And uh, basically when we think about the capacitance grading concept, in capacitance grading we are going to alter the permittivity that is uh, but we are going to introduce the permittivity different type of permittivity materials in between the outer surface and uh, the core surface of the material that is the outer surface of the material is going to be the last layer of the cable that is the conduct uh, between the conductor cable and the last layer of the cable that is the insulation cable we are going to introduce many number of dielectric materials which is going to alter the permittivity by doing this we are going to achieve the grading so instead of maintaining the homogeneous uh, dielectric which is there in the intersheet grading we are going to introduce a composite uh, dielectric which is going to be uh, uh, the best method for the capacitance grading so in this way uh, different dielectrics will be maintained in the capacitance grading to detail uh, the intersheet grading concept we uh, i have shown you the grading uh, concept the intersheet grading concept here in the in the cross section of the cable so here you can observe that the diameter of the k core is considered to be the d the small d and the this is the outer surface and considering this as the next layer
final layer is going to be the last intersheath cable that is the lead sheet which is maintained at the ground potential and lead is considered to be quite a flexible material as well as it is going to give a non-corrosive layer of protection to the entire cable sheet that's why it is always used and uh, since uh, lead is going to be a little costlier so th these, these days we are also going to introduce the aluminium in order to support it so that the corrosion problem will also be avoided as well as the mechanical support is also going to be given to the cable which is very much required so the intersheath insulations you can say that we have introduced uh, two insulation layers here that is one is this and the other one is this so two intersheath layers are introduced here so thereby we are altering the diameters that is the distance from distance of the first intersheath from the core of the cable is d1 divided by 2 and the distance that is the diameter of the first intersheath the cable is going to be uh, considered and then the radius will be d1 divided by 2 and then the second insulation layer is going to be d2 divided by 2 and the final layer including all the intersheet layer is going to be d divided by 2 so in here when we see that this is the distance that that the outer layers of all these intersheets are kept at and when we see here the the uh, the maximum gradient which will be at the top that is from the distance uh, from the center of the core to the first sheath it will be at the maximum and when we move away from the core of the cable we, it is going to get reduced and you can see the distribution of the uh, the minimum gradients uh, at all the layers as when we are moving away from the center of the core then that is the center of the core of the cable it is going to get reduced so when we plot a graph here the outermost layer when we move from the inner layer to the outer layer we find the maximum uh, the stress that is going to be the maximum gradient point and then when we move away from that it is again going to get reduced so from inner layer to the outer layer outer layer to the inner layer again if we move like this the plot can be uh, we can make a plot from g max to the g minimum as shown in the figure so when we plot a graph uh, uh, of stress against the intersheath the grading that is the distance then we can find the plot that is going from the center of the core, core, core of the cable to the outermost layer plotting the g maximum and the g minimum points like this so when we uh, take the intersheet grading point or intersheath grading in detail then we as i already told you that, that there are uh, number of insulation layers which we have which have been introduced between the lead sheet that is outermost layer and the innermost core the metallic sheets are introduced in between so all those intersheath layers which we have seen are the metallic sheets these metallic sheets are maintained at different potentials by maintaining this we can connect them to the tappings of the transformer tappings on the transformer think that there is a transformer secondary here and each one of them are going to be connected to the different points so the tappings on the transformers are provided to the different layers so that we can maintain the different potential on each of the metallic sheet that is provided right from the outermost layer to the towards moving towards the innermost layer so if we do this then there are different potentials on each one of the transformer and each one of the cable layer intersheet layer so the potentials are between the core potential and the earth potential and as i uh, said uh, that is aluminium and the lead are going to make uh, the combination of giving the non-corrosive la layer of protection as well as the mechanical strength uh, so it is uh, since aluminium is uh, costlier than lead both of them are going to be used in combination in practice few sheets are introduced to create different uh, definite potential that is the decreasing in the uh, decreasing order of permittivity so when we use this using the sheet intersheets maintaining a different uh, potential uniform distribution of the stress is achieved so let's prove it through a theorem each sheet can be treated as a homogeneous core cable so we are considering the intersheet grading by considering the permittivity as well so intersheet grading in a cable with the core diameter d and the overall diameter of the lead sheath is D. Let us consider that in as shown in the diagram two intersheets are placed uh, having the diameters of D1 and D2 which are kept at the potential V1 and V2 respectively. So we have connected the different tappings on from the transformer to the, these two sheets and we are maintaining two different potentials of V1 and V2 respectively. So when we do this the intersheets with the permit permea permeabilities uh, that is permittivities epsilon 1, epsilon 2 and epsilon 3 respectively. So if the permittivities are such that epsilon 1 and uh, greater than epsilon 2 greater than epsilon 3 this we are going to consider in the capacitance grading however we are going to consider the voltages only in the intersheath grading by varying the potentials we are going to achieve the uniform distribution of the electrical stress all over the uh, cable so v1 is the voltage of the intersheath one with respect to the sheath 